welcome to the Hope City Podcast. My name is David and I'm one of the pastors here on staff and today I'll be your host. We're currently in a series right now on how to read your Bible. It's a series aimed at helping you better understand scripture. In today's episode, we're going to be talking about extra resources to help explain the Bible. Our guest today to help us break this down is Austin. And Austin, before we begin, why don't you tell us a bit about who you are and what you do here at Hope City Church? Yeah, I'm one of the children's pastors here at Hope City. I'm uh, mainly working with the elementary age kids, just pointing them towards Jesus and kind of teaching, explaining what they what he has for their life. And where are you from originally? Uh, I'm from Abbotsford, BC. Okay, and you've been here for a couple of years? Uh, three and a half years now. Oh, three and a half. Oh, time's flying by, man. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, and how many kids do you find come out on a Sunday average? Yeah, on a Sunday morning here over our two campuses, we have about 500 kids. What? Yeah. A lot of kids. Yeah, yeah. Well, you guys are doing a great job, so keep doing what you're doing. Awesome. Thank you. All right, let's get into this. So the Bible, extra resources. We had an episode with Kate where she talked about study Bibles and how to use mm -hmm. those properly, especially when the bottom half of the page is a commentary and these guys, these scholars have written notes to help explain specific verses. But there are a ton of resources out there that maybe people don't really know of that can actually help explain more of the Bible. Um, in your experiences, when you do stuff or you're teaching a lesson to the kids, how do you navigate or what do you use in terms of resources to explain the Bible? Yeah, it's incredible the amount of stuff that you can find online these days. There's so many different teachers and pastors that do incredible work yeah. um, and they upload it online for free. Uh, Which is nice. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> it's, it's, it's so great. Um, and even when it comes to kids, too, there's churches that develop kids' curriculums, um, and they'll even post those online for different churches to use to help uh, teach the Bible at a kid's level. Well, it's nice. It's sharing, yes. right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. If you, are those, can we like access those in terms of like just a website, or do you need to be a part of a program for a subscription, or how does that work? Yeah, lots of them. Uh, churches just have their own resource websites that they'll put online. Yeah. Uh, some of them do. You have to sign up and give them your email address. Um, you know, sign up for the email. Yeah. They'll, they'll send you, and you just un unsubscribe. Yeah. After yeah. you get it, but <laughs> Bl um, blast you with emails. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah, it's good. Um, one of the good ones is from Craig Groeschel's church. Mm -hmm. um, so Life Church uh, has a great website and so many good resources on there for kind of helping to understand what the Bible is all about. Well, even I think the YouVersion Bible app has even tabs that you can like look up videos or some basic teachings and small things like that. We can have a link in the description box below to check out. But yeah, apps... Apps are great. Have you encountered any websites that someone can just look up for free that can help explain more stuff? Yeah, I'd say one of my favorite ones is thebibleproject.com. Okay. Uh, so it's uh, illustrated videos on explaining different things from the Bible, and they're just absolutely amazing. Just Like animation so, videos? Yeah, yeah, all like hand-drawn uh, computer animation, uh, just explaining different themes, different like word studies they go through. Uh, different books of the Bible, explaining them oh, like, that's front nice. to back. Yeah, uh, it, it's so cool, and it's such a great, great resources for getting kind of a, a, an encompassed look at at different parts of the Bible. Yeah, we'll have a link for that in the box below for people to check out thebibleproject.com. And if you're listening on iTunes or Spotify, uh, highly recommend checking out that app or no, that website, not the app, the website. Yeah. These videos, do they go over? like a whole encompassing theme of the book? Do they go over some history? Um, so they'll have like a series on the wisdom books um, or a series on Old Testament, a series on New Testament. Yeah. Um, they'll also dive into different topics. So yeah. they'll have a video on holiness or a video on salvation, video on Jesus, uh, different things that you'd want to know about. Okay, so they um, don't just break down like a Bible book. They might break down different topics that might be confusing like... Yeah. Even like, like the Son of Man. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, what is that? What yeah, does that mean? The Day of Atonement. Oh, okay. And they'll break down, and, and the videos are great. They're like five minutes, ten minutes tops. Yeah. Um, and they just really creatively explain these these things. And they even do some word studies as well. Oh, um, so what's a word take, study for people who may not know? So they'll take a word that's commonly found in the Bible. Um, like one of them is transgressions. Yeah. Uh, found a lot in the Old Testament. Yeah. Um, so they'll break it down all the way to the Hebrew word. 
um, and then they'll go and see where else it's used in the Old Testament, how is it used in the Old Testament, um, and compare it with different verses and try to find out what that context is okay. um, exactly for that word. Well, that's handy. Yeah. I and mean, that's like stuff I learned in Bible college, and there's this website that just does it for free, hey? Yeah. That's so um, nice of them. Yeah. That's pretty sweet. Yeah. But yeah, then one of my favorite ones that they do is they do um, one called Read Scripture. Yeah. Where they'll take about a 10-minute video um, on just one book of the Bible. And oh, they'll, wow. They'll explain the whole overview start to finish of that book of the Bible mm-hmm. and how it all works together as one book and also fits in with, with the rest of the Bible. So, That's huge. Yeah. And yeah. Especially when you're looking at books like Leviticus yeah. or Deuteronomy and you're like, they're longer books. You're like, oh, what is this about? What does this mean? Why does this apply to me? Okay, um, so they, don't, it, they interconnect themselves. Yeah, it okay. really puts it in context. Okay, why is this book in the Bible? Why is it important? Why is it there? Yeah, and which it kinda, is it's so yeah. important. I mean, even Kate was talking about how important context is to know. And a lot of study Bibles give you good context. Mm-hmm. I do find, like, even when I was in Bible college, we got a lot of books. All right, where'd you go to Bible college? I went to the summit okay. uh, in BC. Yeah, I went to be, I went to Vanguard here in uh, Edmonton. And my like first day there, I'm getting all these books I didn't even know existed. I, I had a study Bible, which is like my source of information and, and extra research. But there are so many books out there that you can't find in chapters. You can't find it in <laughs> Indigo. But there, there, are, there are on Amazon. And when I found out what these books can offer, it blew my mind in the aspect of what there is out there for me to know. Um, one book I found that I got from Vanguard that I absolutely love is this book called Epic of Eden. Have you, se- have you seen this book? I haven't, no. Okay, this book is called The Epic of Eden, A Christian Entry into the Old Testament by Sandra L. Richter. This book is so easy to read, but it gives you a quick snapshot of major themes in the Old Testament. Now, the Old Testament has been a book that I've always shied away from when I was younger because I didn't understand history. I didn't understand context. There was language in there that... Uh, was very Jewish, and then the culture, and so was beyond me. But this book breaks all that stuff down in a way that's understandable for our day and age now and relatable. And when I understood it, it opened up the Old Testament in a way for me that actually brought more life. And so when I did read the Old Testament on my own, it helped me understand things I never saw before, but gave me context to understand things in the New Testament, which was nice. So it does point things to Christ, uh, how Christ fits in, with some stuff in the Old Testament, amazing things. But do you have any books that you've read or maybe found, I don't know, in chapters or on Amazon that you would recommend when it comes to extra resources? Yeah, so Andy Stanley, his most recent book that he put out, uh, Irresistible, uh, and he breaks down kind of yeah, Old Testament versus New Testament, mm. um, which I found incredibly interesting, right? Yeah. Because uh, Old Testament, you look at that, and it's all the Jewish history, the Israelites, um, and you try to think, how, okay, how does that apply to my life, right? Yeah. How does that apply post-Jesus, right? Yeah. So it brings some context and delight of that, of how I can take that Old Testament scripture mm-hmm. and bring it into to my daily life. Which is good. So. I remember uh, there's this book. I'll show the YouTube audience here. Yeah. It's called Every Man's Talmud, all right? Abraham Cohen. Awesome name. Very Jewish name. <laughs> uh, with this book, I found this by Fluke in the Edmonton Public Library. And I just caught my attention. I'm like, oh, what is this all about? But going through it, I found out in researching this, it's a lot of background in terms of the Jewish culture when it comes to domestic life, women, marriage, divorce, children, uh, labor, peace and justice, how they viewed things like uh, treatment and disease or even demonology and how they do justice. A lot of this stuff gave me good context to get into the mind of people of the Jewish background to understand it because Jesus was Jewish. Uh, a lot of the audiences at that time were Jewish people trying to understand who this guy was, if he was the Messiah or not. And so a gospel like Matthew, which is written for the Jewish audience, there's things in there that I need to context. Uh, your study Bible won't give you everything when it comes to context. It'll give you what you need to know. But I find a book like this gave me a Jewish culture context of that time. And I understood the New Testament in ways that I didn't before. And so if I want to know more about the mindset of how they would raise children starting at a young age reading the Torah and why, this book helped me understand that. And it gave me a new perspective for things I didn't see before, especially when reading the Bible, because there's going to be cultural things in there that are not relatable to our culture in this day and age in Edmonton. Um, yeah, there's a lot of books out there, but the 
the books that you've looked at, even with kids ministry, because uh, this stuff can be complicated. Mm-hmm. Are there simple books out there that parents can use to help teach their kids some stuff? Yeah, I'd say uh, a great, maybe not a book, um, but an app that is out there. Okay, yeah. Um, it's the same same people that do the YouVersion app. They do a kid's version of it. I didn't um, know that. And it's just the Bible app for kids. I did not know that. Um, That's cool. So, yeah, it's it's incredible. Um, and it's, uh, yeah, they do animated Bible stories. Mm-hmm. Um, so, yeah, it breaks, the da- breaks down into different different stories that the kids can click on and it's fully interactive yeah. for the kids to use as well. So it, it kind of educates parents as well? Yeah. Okay. That's awesome. So what else is in the app? So you got videos. Is there like text stuff or anything? It's a, kind of like a like an interactive experience uh, for the kids to go through, mm-hmm. um, learning the different, different Bible stories. Um, so they go through and there's little, you know, questions at the end to help them retain what they've, what they've learned from the story. Oh, um, cool. Different things that they can go to, kind of, you know, games, activities, you know, things that they can find throughout yeah. the story to get points to uh, encourage them to keep keep reading. Is there like a minimum so, age for the kids? Like, like a, can a two-year-old do this app or? The stories can read themselves. Oh. Um, so you can put the audio on and it will read the story for you. Mm-hmm. So as long as they're old enough to, to listen along and yeah. they can touch the screens, they're... They're old enough. So. Even if they're not understanding, they're still engaging. Yeah, yeah. It'll stick at some point. That's awesome. Uh, have you come across anything else out there that can help people? Again, I'm going to point back. Craig Rochelle um, has an incredible website, uh, open.life.church. Okay. Um, Link in the description box. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and it's incredible. You can go to his, his parent resource, mm-hmm. um, and that actually ties into that parent or the Bible app for kids. Yeah. Um, so those, those same resources will tie into that app that you can use with the kids. Mm-hmm. Um, but another one is parentq.org. Okay. Um, and that, uh, has like blogs and articles as well, written by different ministry leaders, different parents, different people that are just trying to raise kids, um, yeah. in this day and age, um, and just give that kind of how to raise your kids and then how to impart faith, how to teach faith, how to instill all that stuff into your kids. That's huge, especially um, for parents, man. Yeah. yeah. So, and they even have a resource on there that kind of breaks it down into phases. Mm-hmm. Um, so kind of how the kids understand things at different ages. Interesting. Uh, um, so you can make sure that when you are reading the Bible or doing prayers with them, um, that they're getting that specific age appropriate. Man, this would help content. adults too. Yeah. Honestly, uh, yeah, this stuff is great for kids because I do remember one time I talked with a woman, she's a mom of two kids, and she was just explaining to me how hard it is to explain spiritual things to her kids with what they're learning in school these days. And she hasn't had theological training like you and I have at a Bible Mm -hmm. college. We're in this world all the time, researching stuff. You got to do messages for kids. So you're constantly in these resources that are not only helping kids, but it's educating you at the same time in your Mm -hmm. knowledge. And I know for this woman, she just didn't know how to explain stuff. And I think for her, she didn't know where to look. And so I think for most of this stuff, when it comes to extra resources, there's so much out there, but I find it's harder for people and it's difficult to find where to look. Uh, have you heard of the website gotquestions.org? I haven't, no. So this website, if you're not familiar with it, is a whole question-based website where you can ask any question and all this information will pop up for you. And so the unique thing about it is it's very simple to use. Uh, if you want to know what is repentance, you have a long explanation of what repentance is, but give you verses that correlate to that to help you understand it. And so if you had questions about why did Jesus have to die or uh, what's the end of the world going to be like, any question you can think of when it comes to the Christian faith, this website will answer it for you. I've used it before for message prep if I had to preach. Uh, just to get more clarification on things because the Bible is a big book. There's a lot of information in there. There's a lot of Jewish cultural stuff that I'm not always familiar with and I need more education that way. But it's an amazing resource to understand big topics that you're confused about, especially things like predestination. (laughs) We're not going to get into that right now, okay? (laughs) Just as a forewarning, we'll not talk about that because that is a big topic. But things like questions about heaven and hell, uh, issues when it comes to uh, rights of women, uh, how does that all affect the things in our world when it comes to being a Christian? 
check out that website, gotquestions.org. And again, we'll have a link for you in the description box below. Okay, so a lot of online stuff. Have you come across anything else uh, when it comes to extra resources? Yeah, so I think a great thing to have too is a Bible dictionary, um, which you can find online as well. A great resource for that is Bible tools, BibleStudyTools.com. Okay. Um, and a Bible dictionary, just, you know, you type in the word or the person or the place that you need more information on, and it'll give you a, a description of what that is. So if you want to know more about Aaron, Moses' brother, you can search up Aaron and it'll give you a history of who Aaron is, you know, where you can find him in scripture, um, his background, or if you want to know more about Galilee, you can search Galilee, find hmm. that, and it'll give you kind of some background on Galilee and whatever, whatever biblical place, person, thing that you're, you want to know more about. Yeah. Um, you can look it up in the Bible dictionary oh, that's um, and you'll get lots more information on it, which is good if you just need that extra clarification or understanding yeah, context, about who it right? is. Yeah. 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 Especially context, which is huge. That's yeah, especially awesome. like even Old Testament, there's so many different people or kings or yeah. prophets that just pop up in a sentence or two. Does it, does the right? dictionary tell you how to pronounce the names? I uh, probably, if you do it online one, you can <laughs> yeah. press that. Just Google button to how to say this name in the pronunciation. Bible. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, totally. Okay, what um, else have you found? So yeah, so that's good. And even for BibleStudyTools.com has like a concordance on it as well. Mm -hmm. um, so I think that's been talked about with the Study Bible yeah. um, concordance, where you know someone already has gone through and um, written out what that passage is all about and mm -hmm. give more understanding to it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, another one is Logos. Um, so it's a program that lots of pastors use. Yeah. Um, you can get really intimidated by it. If you go on their website, you know, they have like 4,000, 5,000, $6,000 packages for it. Um, <laughs> yeah, not cheap. It, it can get a little bit crazy. <laughs> yeah. Um, but they do have a very basic, uh, free version, uh, that you can use and it's great. You can have it on your phone, your iPad, your computer. Hmm. Um, do you know how much it is? Uh, it, a free Oh, it's, it's free, free version, yeah. Oh, absolutely free. And then if you want, you can purchase books on there. Yeah. Um, but the basics is free, so then you can pull up, you know, two different translations as, at once if you want. It comes with its uh, own study Bible on there. It comes with a Bible dictionary. Um, it comes can, with everything. Yeah. Right? Um, so kind of all those basics mm -hmm. that you would need. Um, it comes with, and you can, you know, do all your highlighting, your underlining um, that you need to do all those different. And you can use it on your and, iPad and phone, right? Yeah. Yeah. You can ha have it on the go. You know, has that search function if you need a, a search for something. If you're, you know, looking up what does the Bible say about money? Yeah. You can search it up on there and I'll give you all the passages. It's that, got word studies on there that. too. Yeah. This seems like an all in one so, package. Yeah. Yeah. With a cost. Yes. But yeah, there's a free wanna, version. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. So the website I'm assuming would be logos.com. Dot com. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I know, yeah, for us as pastors, we do use that. When I was in Bible college, we had a whole class on how to use that program because yeah. <laughs> we had to buy a certain package for, I believe it was leaders. So there's like a leaders package, if I'm not mistaken. And it goes up to things like platinum or gold, which yeah. get pretty expensive. But these libraries have thousands of books. And what blows my mind is that if you get this program on your phone or your iPad and you buy an expensive program, you have access to thousands of theological books leadership books, Bible dictionaries in your hand. Yeah. That, that blows my mind. And whereas before we would have these big bookcases with like this long commentary <laughs> set, but now you can just have it all on your phone. Yeah. Which yeah. I find, and yeah, a lot of people use digitally now, so that's yeah. good. And yeah, and being that it's all searchable too, right? You can search one topic and it can bring up mm -hmm. those two or three, four or five books that have that topic and yeah. And focus in on what you want to know and what you want more understanding on. So well, yeah, I think it's good for I mean anyone like parents, if you're single, if you're dating or newly yeah. married. This stuff is for anybody and everyone. Yeah. Especially now that I'm raising a kid, I'm learning very quickly. I'm gonna start teaching this stuff pretty soon. And these apps or these websites, they're good tools to equip you to teach not only yourself what's going on, but if you have a family to teach them someday too. Uh, especially with you being in kids ministry, you see this a lot. Uh, do parents in kids ministry have access to this kind of stuff that they know of, or do you find yourself having to educate them and to tell them where to look and to help them that way? Yeah. It's, it's a lot of guiding parents. Yeah. Kind of showing them where to go, what the resources are and, and how to use them effectively. So yeah, we try to give out, you know, things weekly to mm -hmm. the parents. 
um, that they can do with their kids uh, to help them navigate that. Well, that's good. So, yeah. Oh, they need a man. Yeah. This is good. <laughs> Any other thoughts before we close? Uh, yeah, no, I think that's, that's it. Awesome, man. We appreciate your content. For all the stuff we've talked about, we'll have links for you in the description box below to find either books online, on Amazon, or even to visit web pages that can give you content for free. If you have any questions, shoot us a quick message. If you have any other resources that you know about, you can put it in the comment section below. We'll see you next time here at Hope City Church. Mm-hmm.